Well, Z370 is upon us. We've done our, our builds with Rise in the middle of the road situation. Uh, but Z370, what's the situation with Z370? Are we gonna do more Z370 reviews? Yes. We've actually got several Z370 motherboards to review. Six cores, 12 threads with the i7. It's not a bad deal. I feel like the six core, six thread i5 needs to be just a little bit more. But hey, we need to do a build. We're gonna do a build in the Enso case. But before we do that, we're gonna talk about the MSI uh, Gaming M5. So the Gaming M5 really, if you saw the live stream that we did with MSI, we did the, the uh, SLI AC and the Godlike Gaming. Think of this as the Godlike Gaming Lite. It has a lot of the same aesthetic and a lot of the same aesthetic treatment, uh, but it doesn't have like the overkill features like three killer nicks or, or anything like that. This only has a single killer nick, but it is a full ATX motherboard. It is, uh, you know, M MSI Mystic Lite. It's got USB 3.1 Gen 2 at the back, one Type A, one Type C. Uh, actually, let's let's go through the connectors on the back of the motherboard. So we've got one combo PS2 mouse and keyboard port, two USB 2.0 ports, a clear CMOS button, a USB 2.0 port for USB BIOS Flashback Plus, so that you can, you know, if Intel decides to come out with an eight-core CPU on this socket, then you could upgrade the BIOS for that in the future, even if you get an older an older device. It has built-in HDMI and DisplayPort. That's for the iGPU. Then, of course, the As Media, you know, PCI Express by two connected USB 3.1 Gen 2, 10 gigabit per second USB ports, one Type A, one Type C. Our Killer Networks gigabit NIC, uh, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and our Realtek ALC 1220-based audio codec with an optical SPDIF port. So this has the SteelSeries engine and the Hemic 2. Uh, the MSI Gaming Desktop app. It'll do Crossfire, it'll do SLI. Your PCI Express configuration, you've got quite a lot of PCI Express connectivity on this motherboard considering Z370. You've got two armored reinforced by 16 slots, that's by 16 by zero or by eight by eight to the CPU. You've got a third by 16 slot on the bottom of the motherboard. That is through the chipset, however, it's always PCI Express by four through the chipset. Will be good for you know a 10 gig add-in NIC or other add-in network adapters or well really any PCI Express by four peripheral that you might want to run. Then there are three PCI Express by one slots that you could use for other peripherals that are PCI Express by one. Of course, one or two of those is blocked by your your graphics card, but but that's pretty good placement. This motherboard also has two M.2, both of which are PCI Express 3.0. Both of those run through the chipset, so they'll do M.2 RAID, although keep in mind that your total aggregate bandwidth through the chipset is only about four gigabytes per second, so if you do get to higher end M.2s, it is gonna bottleneck through that chipset. In terms of physical connectors on the board, there are six fan headers. One for the CPU, one for a water pump, and then four system fan headers. Those are four pin fan headers. It's a pretty neat setup as far as the fan goes, uh, in terms of like fan control and being able to set it up to respond to different situations and, and things like that. If you're not in the know and you're looking at doing you know, a build with Z370, do keep in mind that only uh, Z370 is compatible with the eighth gen CPUs as of the time of this video. So we're talking about you know, this, the, the 8000 series, the i7 whatever, socket 1151. You're not gonna be able to run KB Lake or Sky Lake CPUs on this motherboard, the, you know, like the 6700K, 7700K, 6XXX CPUs, 7XX CPUs, not, not gonna work on this motherboard. It does also support, uh, you know, RGB header strips, which we're gonna use with this motherboard. It's got a digital LED control. So this motherboard in this case, it's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be really interesting. In terms of like Linux compatibility, how is it with Linux compatibility? Well, even the killer Nick actually does work under Linux. Uh, I'm running kernel uh, 4.13 with Fedora. Basically everything worked out of the box. I didn't have to do anything special. The audio codec also worked, including the front panel audio. So that's a nice, uh, nice situation, nice job. The IOMMU groups for virtualization, what about that? Well. If you're gonna run two external GPUs, it is a little problematic on this Z370 motherboard as it is on pretty much all Z370 motherboards. The two slots by eight by eight, those are in the same MMU group. If you use the two reinforced slots, uh, it's it's not gonna work. Uh, but the iGPU is in its own IOMMU group, so if you wanna mix one GPU and the integrated GPU, because those are in different IOMMU groups, you can actually do that. So. In that sense, it could be good for pass-through, but if you want to run two external GPUs, one for the host, one for the guest, not going to fly. All right, let's run through the other connectors that we've got on this motherboard. So, you've got two 
uh, set to pair, so total of four USB 3.0 front panel connections. You've got one right angle at the front of the board. You've got another one at the bottom of the board. You've also got uh, four DDR4 DIMM slots. This is a dual channel platform. You can run up to four sticks of memory. Um, you know, Z370 officially advertised 2666 speed, but you know, 3200 megahertz is easily attainable on this platform. It works pretty well. At the top edge of the motherboard, we've got our 8-pin CPU power connector. On the front edge of the motherboard, we've got our 24-pin motherboard input, some more fan connectors, our six, six gigabit per second SATA ports, uh, more fan connections. We've got two USB 2.0 headers for internal peripherals that you might run, uh, more fan connections, front panel audio and LED strip header connections along the bottom of the motherboard. All in all, like I say, it's the Godlike Gaming Lite. The Godlike Gaming has an insanely hefty price tag. If you want the absolute maximum, you know, everything with three gigabit NICs on a motherboard, you can totally do that. You should check out our Godlike Gaming review. But if that's just a little bit over the top for your tastes, you can just get this. This is the Godlike Gaming Lite. It's gonna run the, the i7s uh, really well. It's, it has good overclockability features. It has pretty good power delivery to the CPU in terms of, in terms of that. Uh, the CPU does, does run hot. It also has the different LED zones, just like the Godlike Gaming. So you've really got a lot of flexibility. Honestly, my only complaint about this motherboard is that there's not also an Intel NIC. Most people don't realize, but the Intel CPUs in this generation actually provide on-chip resources for a built-in NIC. And so it doesn't actually use chipset connectivity. It doesn't actually use anything from the PCH or any of the lanes for the, the expansion slots. But the, uh, the, you know, like the i219V, like the integrated quote-unquote Intel NIC, those are actually resources physically on the CPU. This motherboard does not implement that. And so I think that you basically, I mean, you have to pay Intel a, a few bucks in licensing, I think, but otherwise basically that type of NIC implementation is free. I would have liked to have seen that on this motherboard where you get the killer NIC and the, the Intel NIC both, just so that people that have preferences for one or the other are covered either way. That said, that's a pretty nitpicky complaint in, in all honesty. I mean, there's not really a lot else to complain about on this motherboard. I mean, it's, it is a Z370 motherboard. I mean, Z370 is kind of, you know, the gamer chipset to begin with. If you want the absolute maximum frame rates, you know, 144 hertz plus 1080 Ti, or dual 1080 Ti graphics cards, well then I think that, uh, you know, you're gonna probably go for the Z370 chipset, so. If you agree or you don't agree, or if you want to yell at me or whatever, I'm gonna be in the level one text forums. I'm signing out and I'll see you there.